Hi again guys, so another tune set up for you today on Gran Turismo 6, this time it's for the Lamborghini Raventon and uh, yeah let's get straight into it. So you want your racing soft tyres as always, as far as suspension, relatively simple setup, ride height of 80, spring rate rounded off to 8 and 12, the dampers are only on 2, I think I'll actually increase them to 3 now, um, anti-roll bars on 5, cambers higher than usual on 2, and uh, neutral toe as always so it's not dragging its wheels highest possible auto setting in the gearbox and you want your final drive on 2.4 for the drivetrain it is all wheel drive so wheel spin isn't so much of an issue but I've still set the initial torque nice and low acceleration high and braking low um, all the power upgrades as always uh, not as optional but I always fit it and uh, weight loss so I've got traction control turned off because, like I said, it is all-wheel drive and you don't really need to worry about wheel spin so much. But obviously it's personal preference. So, uh, yeah. As you can see, it's got a slightly unusual paint job, <laughs> the way it reacts with the light in the tunnel. Um, incidentally, if you want this paint job, it's called K2 Red, and you can get it um, from the Mazda MX Cross Sport concept. So if you want this colour on your Reventon, make sure you buy that Mazda. So yeah, it's a pretty quick car. Um, it's, as far as I can tell, the second fa the, yeah, the second fastest Lamborghini on the game. Fastest is the Diablo GT. And uh, this one is, as I just said, second fastest. Which is kind of weird, because it's pretty much the same as the Merchalago. But... Uh, Whatever. If you haven't noticed by now that Gran Turismo isn't that realistic, then you probably never will. <laughs> so it has a cruising speed of uh, 285, which is pretty good. Um, obviously it's all-wheel drive, so it's very quick off the line. Uh, I don't think I've ever actually used this car in a race, so I'm not sure how it performs in terms of uh, slipstream or things like that, but judging by its speed now, it, it definitely goes over 300 with slip and with NOS. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's a quick car. Expensive, but quick. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the car, hope this tune helps, and as always, thanks for watching. 